Kyson. Kyson, where are you going? Kyson, look. Kyson, are you trying to ignore me on purpose? <laughs> you ready for your seven month update? Yay! Are you seven months? Yay! Welcome back to my channel. Uh, we are back with Kyson's seven month update. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing a happy dance, doing a happy dance. He look uncomfortable. No? Yay. There we go, yay. I feel like we just did his six month update. Like, are you a big boy? Big boy Kyson, big boy Kyson. Let's get to it, y'all. Let's talk about the growth. Honestly, y'all, let me tell y'all, after his six month update, I kid you not, I kid you not, like a day after I did his six month update, he literally started like crawling like the next day. Well, he's not like full out, well, he is full out crawling, but uh, not like on all fours, like he's not up high on his knees and his hands like all the way, but he's crawling, like he's getting to everywhere he feels like he needs to be cough cough wires cord electronics uh, uh my mom's feet <laughs> he's obsessed with his nana's feet um <laughs> where else does he love to crawl to anything basically anything that's not for babies um he'll make his way to and he be moving fast y'all like uh, what oh, look at him trying to get some you want my phone you want my phone he wants my phone here he actually locked me out of my phone the other day y'all like <laughs> That's what comes with having a baby. But uh, yeah, you guys, so he's still busy. Like a lot of the stuff from a month ago is the same, except it's just on another level. Like there is no stopping Tyson. <coughs> Bless you, achoo, achoo. <laughs> Bless you, Tyson. Bless you. So yeah, he's just on another level, y'all. There's nothing that can stop Kyson. If he wants to get to a place, he's gonna get there. Whether it's in silence, <laughs> because you will be like literally thinking Kyson's just playing with his toys, where you left him. And then it's a little bit too quiet, and all of a sudden this boy is like trying to eat the TV or something like that. Like, sir, bruh, sir, Kyson, explain yourself. Explain yourself. Yes, you're in trouble. Explain your, it's not funny. It's not funny. My little pumpkin, Kyson, Kyson, I love you. Ow. I love you. You love me too. Oh, thank you. He went through a big phase over this last month where his gums were bothering the heck out of him, y'all. Like, oh my gosh, he was just like doing that mouth thing that babies do, where they're like, and just slobbering and drooling and. I had to buy him another teething toy because it just was so uncomfortable for him. But now it's kind of calmed down a little bit. He's not drooling as much. Matter of fact, y'all, I wrote down a few notes because I didn't really want to leave anything out. <laughs> I didn't want to leave anything out of his update. So let me see. Oh yeah, so his hair is starting to grow back in, y'all. He's still on the road to recovery, okay. Peep the back of his head, okay. It's literally like uh, all coming in. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just tossing him around like, <laughs> I'm sorry, Kyson. I'm sorry, you didn't sign up for this? You didn't sign up for this? <laughs> no. <laughs> he is starting to stand up and hold on to things. Like, he has always loved standing up since he was like a baby though. Kyson, Kyson, get, get down. Get down. <laughs> this is not funny, get down. Hey. What you saying? What you saying? Huh? You wanna say something? His eczema, like it's a lot better. Like the whole back of his neck was like looking really, really bad. It was looking really raw and really just like, like we needed to do something about it. But in reality, y'all, we've been trying to do stuff about it. Like uh, I've been trying to fix his eczema. I've tried literally everything under the sun. But I recently got something new and it looks like it's helping a lot. So, and also the eczema that was like on his hands, he had it on his creases like here 
in here. All of that is pretty much cleared up. If you feel it, it's like kind of scaly, but like you literally cannot tell and it's so much better. So <laughs> is that right? Is that right, Tyson? Is it so much better? Yeah? You feeling better, looking better? He's also reaching a lot more. You can tell when he wants to be like picked up or if he wants to go to somebody else, like he makes that very clear. Oh, I thought I heard some spit up. Oh, speaking of spit up, his spit up is getting a lot better because I switched his formula, you guys. So y'all know I've always been like talking about how he does, his spit up is just so bad. And pretty much all my older videos, like when he was like one month, two months, three months, four months, like, I got spit up on in probably nearly like damn near every video. Like I kid you not, he, it never failed. But now I switched his formula and it's crazy because I had him on soy with a different brand, Enfamil, and that didn't work. But I switched him to, Nutri not Nutramagen, that's what he was taking before. I switched him to um, Similac Soy. So the same type of formula, but different brands. And he doesn't spit up with that one, which is like, uh, it kind of like weirds me out because I'm like, what's the difference? And I've even spoken to like doctors and they're like, yeah, like it's pretty much the same, it's just a different brand, but whatever, whatever works, works. So I'm glad that I discovered that because it can be so hard to find the right thing. Like the slightest difference can have like the biggest effect on him. So I'm just glad I don't have to go another, how many more months? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, five more months of dealing with spit up and him not digesting his milk properly. But he still actually has something scheduled to where, oh wow, Kyson, I was just raving about you not spitting up. Babies always try to make you look, bro. Babies be trying to make you out to be a liar, bro. Kyson, oh. No, baby, no. Kyson's really acting, y'all. Kyson, why are you acting? Really, that's what you gonna do? Okay, okay, I'm gonna let him do him because he clearly, oh my gosh, his arm is stuck between the couch. <laughs> so he's also been sitting up a little bit, you guys. So he has sat up a few times on his own, but then he'll like fall back over a few minutes later or not a few minutes later, but like a few seconds later. He's just not at the phase where you can just like leave him on his own sitting up because he will most likely like topple over. So most likely by eight months. Uh, he also likes sucking on people. What are you doing, sir? Kyson, what you doing? Ooh, ah, ah, you got my hair. Oh my gosh. This happens every day. This is why I barely like wearing my hair out. All right, I'm gonna let you go play, Kyson. <laughs> I'm gonna let you go. 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 Just don't knock the tripod over. Oh gosh, he's not he's going for the tripod. No. <laughs> no. Kyson has this new thing, y'all, where he snorts his little nose up. It's like a new little smile, laugh type of thing. It is so freaking cute. Like Hey. <laughs> hey. I don't even know what happened, but like he came home from his aunt's house one day and that was just his thing. Like he was just doing new things. And I was like, wow, Kyson, like you left for one day. Cause she took him for a day, which is another thing. He's been spending more time with his aunts. Like me actually leaving him with them. He's like old enough now to where like he can do that. Um, and they know him, you know, they come over all the time, take care of him. Like they know him, so they're able to take him. No, you can't have the wires, Kyson. You can't have the wires. <sighs> so yeah, y'all, this is literally me all day. Like I'm like back and forth, back and forth, pulling him away from stuff, taking stuff away. He will take anything in sight and try to put it in his mouth. So that's pretty much how my days have been going. My parents bought him like a whole bunch of new toys, but like he will literally have all the toys in front of him and still want attention from me. And I'm like, how that work, boy? You got all these toys and you still want me to play with you. <laughs> like, which I do anyways, because I love playing with him too. But sometimes I'd be like, oh Lord, Kyson, just play with your toy, just play with your toy. But yeah, he'll play with them, but Kyson's fussy. I think he's actually sleepy again, even though he just took the longest morning nap. Why are you fussy? Y'all, knocked out. But he just woke up, so I don't know why he's so sleepy. Ooh. Anyways, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed 
Tyson's seven month update. You know, I'm coming back with the, his eight month update. Clearly like sooner than you think because this one really snuck up on me. Um, I'm just so like, I just be getting emotional because it's just too much. Like time just be moving too fast. And it's just like, dang, slow down. Like I just became a mother. Like, oh my God. Put a pause on the clock. Like. But now y'all like, it's really crazy how fast time is flying. Like I always forget to add this disclaimer that um, Kyson was born premature. So when I talk about his milestones and his development and all that type of stuff, like technically he's like a month behind, but he's still keeping up with the pace of a seven month old's development, even though he was born a month early. So that is so good. Um, and if he's behind on certain things, like if he's not doing certain things yet, like I do not rush him. I do not feel a type of way because I know it's gonna come. And I feel like he's honestly advanced for to be premature and to be seven months and doing everything that he's doing and reaching those milestones like at such a nice pace, like everything's just gradually coming. So like just for anybody out there, don't feel like if your child's doing something that, or if your child's not doing something that another child is, like just don't compare, like you know your child and you know what's best for them and you know, the doctor, their doctor will let them know if anything's wrong or if they're falling behind or anything. So just keep that in mind. Anyways, you guys, thank you for watching and we will see you in our next video. Let me go put this boy in his crib because he's about tired of me talking. His eyes keep opening back up because I talk too much. <laughs> Bye, y'all.